Hello and welcome to Sorted Food. Today we're putting our chef Ben to the test in another Make It Gourmet Ebers challenge, <laughs> where he takes a really simple dish and lifts it to its full delicious potential. Mike, tell him what the dish is. Instant noodles. From pot noodles to super noodles, instant ramen to soup. We all love a bit of the nudes, don't we? For the normalest of normals, instant noodles is in everybody's staples cupboard. And the best thing about instant noodles is it's so simple, even Barry could make it. You just add boiling water yeah. and you're off. So from a normal's perspective, let's talk about what it is about instant noodles that we absolutely love. I love the perfect textures, the bouncy noodles, but then the silky sauce that coats your mouth after you slurp it. It's that magical, perfectly seasoned little pouch of joy that delivers every single time. You can almost feel it dribbling down your chin just by looking at a picture. Oh, it's very true. Mm. Yeah. Very true. But the image of it on your chin makes me feel sick. <laughs> Some people pay a lot of money. <laughs> what you're saying is you want something delicious, slurptastic, with bouncy noodles and perfectly seasoned. Please. Yeah. Ready, Ebers? Instant noodles. Make it gourmet. It's all going to start with a spice blend. So you know when you have instant noodles, I can't get this off. There we go. You have the little sachet of powder? Yes. We're going to start with the sachet of powder. But before we blend it, we need to toast them off. It's basically Chinese five spice doubled. Ten spices. Chinese ten <laughs> spice. Ebba's ten spice. Baz, you've got a Spiceology badge. Oh, no, no. Don't, don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare. And the first time you got it, you yeah. got it because you did Chinese five spice. So, what are the five spices? Star anise, cloves, cumin. Not cumin. Oh, damn, okay. I haven't got lavender under here either, if that Shut helps. up. Cinnamon? Cinnamon, Cinnamon yes. Cinnamon. Szechuan pepper, nice. Mate, you're, the, you're the spice. Oh, no. You're the spiceology you're man. You're the spice merchant. We haven't got all day, it's fennel. Oh, well, I wouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Evers, anything to add? No! I got told off for rescinding his badge last time. I just wanted to test to see how good he knew it, if he knew it at all, and he's proved our point. So to begin with, our Chinese five spices, plus some spices that are more reminiscent of North China kind of Indian skew as well. So cumin, coriander, some chilli as well as the Szechuan, so we've got a bit of heat plus bay, plus black pepper. Very deliberately, we are dry frying it all over gentle heat so that we can then blitz up into a dry powder. Do you remember that time we used to be able to travel? I went to China. And after I was deported out of China and got back in again on an I emergency visa, this was one of my favorite dishes. And it's taken till now for me to recreate it. The few times that we're not filming when traveling, that happened. So where are you going? Like which region? How's this going to play out? What I'm thinking is let's go to Xi'an and go for the street food classic that you can literally hear before you see it and smell it. Biang Biang noodles. With yeah. the flapping. Flapping. Hand stretched noodles. We're making our own spice blend, broth, some excellent lamb. Got some wonderful greens through it. It's going to be slurptastic. I don't think we stereotypically think of lamb when it comes to Chinese food. If you think about a lot of the westernised Chinese dishes, you think of seafood and maybe prawn, pork, pork hugely consumed all across China, chicken. Uh, and chicken. But in Xi'an, there's a massive Muslim quarter, and therefore lamb plays a big part of this, and I think it's absolutely delicious. First use of our spice blend, a tablespoon in the lamb marinade, along with grated ginger, grated garlic, soy, sesame oil, Chinese rice wine and some cornstarch or corn flour. And that is a wonderful spice blend, but we haven't yet seasoned it. So here comes the thing that everyone said was important with instant noodles, MSG, modest monosodium glutamate. So we've got lamb neck fillet, which is already a wonderful, flavorful piece of lamb, but then we're going to slice it. The reason being, more surface area, 
more chance for the marination to happen in terms of flavour and it will do so quicker. So it's not just us normals that love instant noodles. We asked you on Twitter as well, do you love instant noodles? And if you do, what is it that you love so much about them? And there were mixed opinions. Peter said uh, they're quick and easy. Yeah. Anyone from a child to a Barry to a complete <laughs> drunk can make a pot noodle. So Are you in the what? middle of a child and a drunk? What a great scale that is. <laughs> Whoa, I'm not sure how, how, how I come across there. Not well, is it? <laughs> Naya says mostly they're very convenient. They're very cheap. They can sit in the cupboard for weeks. They can be prepared very fast. You can add all kind of leftovers and ingredients, tinned and fresh. They're good for what they are, but I don't think they can be called so good. Now there's an element you can't get at home quite so easily, and that's the cooking over charcoal. So we're gonna smoke it. You could absolutely add a little bit of liquid smoke into that marinade. You could use a smoked paprika instead of some of the pepper but I just quite like this. We're gonna add in a little bit of our smoke and that will marinate in the fridge for a couple of hours and give you a wonderful, smoky, spiced lamb. The sauce is also gonna have lamb in it. So it's almost lamb bolognese. Again, we're gonna use all the mince with lots of veg, with some of our spice, with some of our liquid, and we'll cook it all out into almost this bolognese style. Like a shepherd's pie. Like a ragu. Like a shepherd's like pie? Both of those. What are you talking about, shepherd's pie? We'll put mashed potato on with it. Why not? Fusion. <laughs> Lamb fat into a pan, get it nice and hot, almost smoking, and then in with the lamb mince. Another fantastic element is the chilli oil that's often on the table so you can season it yourself. And the best way to make that is to quite literally heat up oil and pour it over dried chili flakes with other aromats. So chili flakes, spring onions, garlic and ginger, all in a bowl, and then you pour over hot oil. What's better than hot oil? Hot lamb fat. We're making a lamb fat chili oil. Oh, oh yes. what? In and around the crispy lamb, all of our veg, onion, celery, garlic, ginger, chili, and then about 10 minutes of frying to soften it. Then we add rice wine, soy, rice wine vinegar and sugar, plus the spice blend into it all and what you're left with is this. I'm surprised you've called that a sauce. <laughs> yeah, that looks like, <laughs> yeah. like a meal. We've already used the fat from it, but now let's celebrate the broth. Made in much the same way as any broth, lamb bones roasted off and then added in to water with root vegetables and a lot of the aromats, plus some of our spice blend that we made a batch of yesterday. It will warm this up, season it to taste, and that's the broth to finish the noodles. Obviously lots of different types of noodles. Rice noodles, egg noodles. This is a wheat noodle that is just flour, wheat flour, and water seasoned with salt. So very, very simple, but it's this noodle which is super stretchy because of high gluten flour needed for an awful long time. After a good amount of kneading, at quite some speed in the machine, we're left with this wonderful, soft, bouncy, elastic dough. That then needs to rest in a bowl of oil, at which point we've got something we can work with. And now the bit that is A, most fun, and B, I haven't done for a couple of years and I'm most nervous about. If whacking. We're definitely gonna get to that point, the hand-stretched thwacking, or bang and it is the sound that it makes as it hits the work surface. So no, there's no flour in this? Just all Super oil. oiled. So much like the, the bread dough, the rotis that um, yeah. Curran showed us, it's just, just oil up and go for it. You can definitely see it's wanting to sort of bounce back on itself. That's the elasticity of the gluten. So we're gonna do this and then we're gonna leave it to rest once more. Now when we decided we were going to make instant noodles gourmet, myself and the food team walked all the five minutes down the road to a Biang Biang restaurant to watch it in action and to taste the real thing. That's what we're aiming for. Social media shots to drop into that and then we can expense lunch. <laughs> <laughs> well, <I see. laughs> the dream here is to stretch it nice and long 
and then rip it down the perforated edge, we'll perforate it with a chopstick, so you end up with a really long loop of noodle. It literally just needs 45 seconds or so, and then we're gonna take it out and refresh it in ice cold water to stop the cooking and to keep that bounce. The, th the thwacking on a metal surface should give you that bang bang noise. It's fine. Oh, no. It's all excellent. In. Oh, Baz, well done. One big loop. Good. Not bad going. Yeah. yeah, good. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. I don't want to speak out of turn, but kind of feels like the normals did a little bit better than the chef. <laughs> I, I definitely feel like the uh, noodle badge needs to be dished out to you guys. Oh, there we go. That, 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 there no, we go. No, he's, no, he's, okay. oh, he okay. was just playing with us. This is definitely a dish that's basically noodle, a lot of chilli oil and a little bit of meat. But I do like it when it's got some green veg in it. So, buy some nice Chinese leaves and we'll just sweat those through. But there was one I wanted to use, which I couldn't find. So 10 weeks ago, I started to grow it. This what, is the what, least what? instant noodles you can have. <laughs> <laughs> These are 10 week old instant noodles. Daffodils. Daisies. It's part of the daisy family, the crown daisy. However, these wonderful leafy bits, excellent green, Japanese cooking, Chinese cooking, used quite a lot. I'm not gonna lie, it's taken us a while to get to here. 10 weeks. But I think the next bit should be pretty instant. Everything's ready, chilli sauce, lamb sauce, our greens, our broth, our garnish, our noodles, and our marinated lamb. Now we just have to bring it together in one pan, nice and quick, and serve it up. It looks great. So somewhere in between two and three minutes for instant noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to come and try them? Yeah, yes. let's do this. I've been waiting 10 weeks for this. Whoa, all oh, that lamb. Oh, that chili. They are like a thick instant noodle. <laughs> They're slimy in, a, in the best yeah. way possible. They are absolutely delicious. Spiced, fragrant, chilli heat, and then just the lamminess all the way through that. And those lamb neck fillet chunks are so tender. Yeah. Like melt in your mouth, tender. The chilli lamb fat oil, God, I'm gonna say it, it, it coats, coats the, the mouth. mouth. It does coat the mouth. Question is, does it take all the things that we love about instant noodles and talked about at the beginning and make it gourmet? For me, I've still got that broth slurping down my chin, yep. so uh, yeah, yeah. Spice mix, packs a punch, and it's delicious. And the silky noodles, bang on, above and beyond. I think you've got a clean sweep, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Bang on, bang on. on. Right then, over to you guys. How do you think Ebba's got on? And comment down below, let us know what dish should Ebba's make gourmet next. Write the dish and then say, Ebba's, Ebba's make, make it, it gourmet. gourmet. Have you ever got to the end of a long day with no ideas, ingredients, or energy to cook? Takeaway? Hmm, it'll be the fourth this week. Well, that's why we built our revolutionary Meal Packs app. Thousands of people are using it to shop, cook, and eat a whole lot better and easier while saving money as a result. You can go and use it in its entirety for free for a whole month and see if it's for you. The link is in the description box below. And now for the blooper. We're going to get there, but that is definitely the next bit. The hand stretching. We're definitely going to get to that point. The hand stretching. We're definitely getting that. 